Hey everybody and welcome. My name is Kimberly, also known as Sock Bunny, and I'm going to do a SimCity 5 Let's Play. Some people call it SimCity 2013. I've been playing this game obsessively for about a year, and I've watched quite a few Let's Plays, so I thought I would go ahead and record one. I've been making Sims 3 and Sims 4 videos for quite a while, so I figured I would jump right into playing SimCity. I have played a few towns or regions in here, but the one I'm going to pick is Edgewater Bay. It's seven cities and one great work and that'll give us a lot of flexibility. I honestly have not ever done a great work before. Everybody who I watch or all the forums that I've read, everybody says it's a waste of time, blah blah blah. So I'm going to do it anyway. I haven't decided which one I'm going to do, but we'll get there when we get there. So the first thing we're going to do is create our region. And of course we're going to call it the Sock Bunny region, of course. We're not going to play in sandbox mode. I really debated on whether I wanted to do sandbox, but I'm going to show you what I've learned from a lot of other simmers, and that's just to create a town that will generate a lot of money for you, basically unlimited money. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Sandbox mode is where you could do money cheats. It's also where everything is unlocked for you and you don't have to earn different things being unlocked. So it is a fun mode to play in, but I think I'm going to play typical regular mode, non-sandbox mode. So we are going to hit next and we're going to start with a, like I said, just a cash city. And so that city really does not need to have a whole lot of resources. This one's got a lot of oil. Let's see. I think I want to try to do wind power, although it's not the most efficient. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't think a lot of any of these have really good wind. That one has two bars of wind. Two bars of wind. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oops, that's not what I meant to hit. Uh, let's see. This is where the great work will, will be, by the way. So let's look at this another way. It, for this town, um, you can see the yellow line is road and the white line is rail. So this city is going to have one entrance. This is going to have two. Um, this one is going to have one, it looks like. This one's going to have it go through the corner. I'm talking about the road. This one's going to have it go all the way through. This one has one entrance, this one has two. I sort of like this one where it goes all the way through, but do I want to save that for a future thing I have in mind? This one looks like it has a big mountain on it. That's probably not good because we're going to be doing like a grid city, so we really just want something flat. How's this one look? Oh, that doesn't look very good either. It's a hard decision. Alright, uh, let's see. This one's probably good. It doesn't have a whole lot of, it has water, but not a whole lot of other. Alright, we'll choose this one, Gardener Valley. We're going to get started. We have 50,000 simoleons, and that will definitely go up. So we're going to create a grid city. Grid cities are the most efficient cities, but they're not the prettiest. But this city, its purpose at first is not going to be pretty. Later we might come back and modify it to look better or even be a completely different type of town. But for now it's going to be a grid city. And we're going to start off using all dirt roads, the cheapest roads that you can get upgrade things slowly. Now the key to SimCity is going slowly. Don't try to do anything too quickly. I look at uh, the Sims SimCity as being different than the regular Sims games because Sims, like Sims 3 and Sims 4, they're sort of like games where you're you're controlling somebody's life and it's fun and you can all, all kinds of funny things happen this is not that kind of game i don't consider sim city to be a funny game but it definitely is a challenge i look at more at, i look at it as more of being a puzzle so this is our puzzle and can we uh do things now again like i've said this is not a perfect game i think i said that anyway it's not a perfect game 
Uh, but no game is perfect. It's got its issues just like everything else and you just have to go with the flow. So first thing we're going to do is actually bulldoze this road. I know that sounds crazy. Because we're going to do a grid and a curve does not belong in a grid. But luckily we have two entrances. So the first thing we're going to do is use low density roads to create our city. So to start off with, we're just going to do the grids. Now, supposedly there are magic numbers that you can use to uh, make your roads a certain amount wide and a certain amount tall to have the perfect city. I'm not going to play like that. One, I don't feel like memorizing all that stuff. Second, I just want this to be fun and relaxing. So I'm not going to worry about making everything perfect. We're going to it, it's pretty easy to make money in this game, simoleons. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to focus on just making simoleons to get enough money to start another city and, you know, ha have this city help fund other cities. This is not going to be the place where most people are going to want to live. It's going to be very, it's going to be actually all low wealth, all low uh, everything. So, um,. And I have, uh, if you want to watch really good videos on how to do like high density cities or do this perfectly or whatever, um, I could recommend Sky Storm, S K Y E Storm. He, I've watched a lot of his videos, and there are many, many other YouTubers out there who are way more professional at this game than I am, but I am just going to play it for fun. So I have the game paused. We're going to first, um, I like to go in and just, oh, I have to unpause it before it'll even let me do this. Yeah has to be connected. There we go. All right, now we can pause it. Um, so we could do wind power. Maybe we'll just go ahead and do coal. I think it's the best as far as what you get from your money. It doesn't really matter because, let's see, where is the wind? The wind's going that way, so we want this to be down here. We'll just put it down here near the end. Okay, next thing we want is water. And the thing you need to look out for is you don't want to put it where there's pollution, which right now is not an issue, but it will be later. I really like these because they futurize things. I haven't like done the math to see which one would be better than the other, but let's see, we'll put it over here in the corner. And then the next thing is sewage, but I'm not going to worry about sewage right away. Let's get some houses in here. So houses and, and so forth. So one of the things that I like to do when I'm starting this off is I actually like to, I do like to follow the grid lines and just do a bunch of squares. Now you could do it this way where you just draw the lines like I did, or you can use the square road tool and it will actually do square roads for you. It's totally up to you which one you prefer. And something I did see Skystorm do that I haven't really seen anybody else do that I can remember is he intersperses his um, commercial with, let's see, do I want to do that? No, I think I want to go up here for that one because I might eventually want to run a high level road there. Okay, so we've already had budget problems because <laughs> we have been going a little crazy. So now we're going to zone things and what he does, like I said, is he will intersperse commercial here and there just so that people have places to shop and he does it randomly with, no, was it him or somebody else? Now I don't remember. But anyway, I thought it was a good idea. And plus, I think it looks, even though this is a grid city and it's not realistic, I think it looks more realistic. Actually, you know what? I think on this one, we're going to, we're going to um, do it this way. So I'll do this and a little bit this and a little bit this. And then we're not going to do the sides. We're just going to do the... Uh, tops and bottoms of these roads. So an easy way to do that is just to click and then control click. So click the edge, whoops, and then control click. I'll come back and fix those. So this is sort of monotonous when you're first starting off. But see, if I hold down control now, it's gonna do that whole area. But if I give it a border and do that, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and run the game so that these houses will start 
filling in and this is actually one of my favorite parts of the game is when the game first starts because you get to see all the people moving in and it's it's pretty cool so I have it on the slowest speed right now which is turtle speed but we'll speed it up later but this part to me just fascinates me see somebody's moving in right there now we uh, this is your demand thing it's not always 100% accurate and as uh, a lot of YouTubers will say when they're playing the game, you just sort of have to go by what's going on, not necessarily what they might, like these advisors might be telling you something, but it's not necessarily um, true. So, you know, and you're never going to get things to balance out and be 100% perfect. That's not how this game works. So if you're a perfectionist like that, it might drive you a little crazy. But I think it's just fun. And I actually find this game relaxing. And oops, I could play this game for literally eight hours straight, no problem. And, and just enjoy it so, so much. Also, I have music off, which is unfortunate. But evidently, there are some copyright issues with the music. But the music to the game is magnificent. And that alone would be... Oops, let's see. Yeah, I wanted to do this this way. That alone would be a reason to get the game. <laughs> I love the music. To me, the music is really relaxing. Let's see, I don't think I want to put any over there. Let's just do that that way. So for the um, for those, you could have just dragged them if you wanted to, which I'll show you when we do industrial. So we're going to put industrial over here since this is the way the wind is blowing. So you can look at the, the maps and see what's going on. And This is our wind map. And you can see wind is blowing that way. So we want all the pollution from industrial to go out to whoever, somebody else for somebody else to deal with that problem. <laughs> Some other country or world or whatever. All right. So, whoops. Oh, I'm still doing a square. That's what the problem is. All right. Yeah, let's do. Hold on. Let's do this. If you put your mouse over one thing and then... Like if I do this, if you put your mouse over one and then the other, it'll give you the square grids that you're looking for, or the grids, not necessarily square. All right, so now we're going to get some industrial out here. I think industrial, I'm just going to do it like this. Close to existing intersection. Let's try it this way. There we go. It's giving us the grid. Again, you don't have to use the square road tool. You can use just the right, straight one. Or if you're holding down the mouse, uh, like if you're on the curve tool and you hold down the shift key, you'll get a straight road. There we go. All right, so let's do... Okay. Now, it's saying we have unpowered buildings, but that's just because it has a ways to go and it hasn't gotten over there yet. But we're fine. We're in the green over here. And so we're going to do industrial. Um, I think I'm going to do it this way. I might come back and add some industrial later if we need to, but for now we're just going to start off with... This, all right, so let's see how our town is doing. People are starting to move in. And I really love to zoom in close in this part and look at the houses actually being built, which is pretty cool. You can see the guy is building the houses. We've got some vacant houses here for sale. So somebody will probably move in very shortly. And you get a whole lot of moving vans. So this is a dirt road. The advantage to jerk roads is they're super cheap, but the disadvantage is they are just two lanes. And so if somebody stops, people don't, they don't, cars don't go around people. So like if you've got a trash can, a trash truck, garbage truck, that's the word, garbage truck picking up trash and they stop, then the other cars don't go around and it can really hold up traffic. So we will eventually be upgrading the roads. Okay, petition to build town hall approved. Right now we're in the red, but we're doing okay. As soon as these people start moving in. And again, I love this part. Look at these people. The 6 a.m. moving truck. They're moving in. And they're sort of like little houses on stilts is what these look like over here. 
You get all kinds. Oh, that one's adorable. That one's vacant. That one looks like it might be... Oh, it's hard to tell. And it's funny because sometimes between the different lots, they'll put little fillers that look like swimming pools and uh, things like that. And of course, we'll be adding some parks and stuff like that. Now, this is yellow, which means it wants us to look at it. I'm going to go ahead and pause this because I see a couple of things flashing. So here he's telling us not enough freight producers, uh, but demand is going down. So you can't really go by that. So um, I go by more what people are saying when I click on them, but you know, to each his own. All right, we do need to worry about sewage because we don't have any sewage yet. So we're going to put that out in the industrial area. I guess we could put it here. All right, so that's our sewage. So we've gotten power, water, sewage. We can do town hall. Garbage will come up really soon. The first one I always put down, and this is just from experience, is health. Uh, when I first started playing the game, I thought you had to do everything in order. I don't know why. But if, you, if your town starts getting sick and that gets out of control, you'll really have trouble... Um, Let's see, we need to have, oh, a we need to have a town hall first. All right, we'll put the town hall in. You, if you don't get your health under control, it's really, if it gets out of control, it's really expensive to fix and frustrating and takes a long time to fix. So I'm going to, where do we want to put this? Do we want to put it here? I think we could put this here because it'll, that way it'll have room to expand. So there's our town hall. Closed now, hiring. Okay, now we can name our town. So I'm not going to name it. And also, I'm going to pre-record. I'm going to say the first seven videos I'm going to pre-record. And so if you have a name that you think we should name Gardner Valley, go ahead and leave that. Now let's see, did Town Hall do anything for our... Let's see, raises medium wealth land value. Now, I think in order for that to actually happen, though, I would need to have this and a park. But let's look and see. So here we can do land value map. Right, yeah, so this is still low wealth, but if I was to put a park in here also, or anything else that raises medium wealth, then it would cause this to bring up, um, let's see, yeah, this would, it would cause this to bring up, but because, and the reason I'm pointing that out is because I do want everybody to stay, um, low wealth here. All right, so all of our businesses filled in really fast. So we're still just waiting for people to mark, move in. The more people that will move in, the more money we're going to have. So I'm actually going to fast forward this a little bit. I'll put it on second speed, which is llama speed. And you can see that we're in January of year one when you hold it over here. So we have no industrial demand and commercial well, residential is, it says it's high, but all these places haven't filled in. So I, even if this says it's going up, I wait for everything to settle down. So if I make a change to the town, I try to sort of wait a little bit and let things level off before I go listening to whatever this says. So, all right, we're finally in the plus. So we're going to let all these people move in. Let's look at some of these people. Oh, this place is cool. Look at this. It's got a big wrench on it. It's a garage. Wild Will's Gas. That's really cool. And Sim City was created before The Sims. Um, it actually was created to um, a, as a game simulator, but then uh, when he was, I think his name was Will Wright, was creating the uh, game, he was having a lot of fun just creating the lots, and that's where he decided to do The Sims, uh, so that you could play the actual people in the town. And how I got hooked on SimCity, um, Origin is very, very smart, because a while back they had where you could download SimCity 2000 for free, and I had never played SimCity at all, and I was obsessed with SimCity 2000, and so I played it for quite a while, quite a few months, and... Um, felt like I sort of conquered that game and was ready to move on. 
Um, I was definitely obsessed with that game. Look at all these cool sims standing out here. You can click on them and see what they're doing. Can't wait to go shopping. So they're all just walking around. And a good thing about interspersing your commercial in with the residential is it cuts down on traffic theoretically because then they have places they can go without driving. If they can walk somewhere they will. Look at this big ice cream cone. So let's look at some other ones. It looks like this is a big, what is this? Crude Oasis. Oh, it looks like a gas station. It doesn't matter what they are really for the most part. It's just a place for Sims to go spend money. Tax preparation. The Grill and Swill. And some of the names are super funny. What is this? Renderware Pipeline Repair. Okay. So here's our little city. It's, things seem to be calmed down. Has everybody moved in or do we still have people moving in? Alright, these look like they're all moved in too. Let me zoom out. That's easier. And here's the train track in case we wanted to use that. Okay, so there we go. So what I'm going to do in between episodes is I'm going to go ahead and just grid this city out. And I'm not going to make you sit and watch that. <laughs> I will go ahead and grid the city out, do all the... Um, the commercial and the residential and all that kind of stuff. If I do anything that uh, I think is of note, I'll make a note of it and I'll tell you in the next episode. So I hope you like this. Like I said, I'm going to pre-record, let's say, the first seven episodes I'll pre-record. And uh, feel free to leave your comments down below. And if you like it, please do like and subscribe to my channel. And have a great day. Keep on simming. Bye.